Well, Merry Christmas, everybody, and cheers to you. A special holiday toast. Uh, it's not even noon yet, but if you go easy, it's all right. Uh, here's a toast to, to all of you that have watched this year, all of you that have made it through, to the ones who haven't, and uh, to a much happier new year next year. Uh, this is some fine bourbon from uh, my stepdad, Grandpa John. Remember, he passed back in July. So let's toast Grandpa John and Grand Mary for hosting me and my kids and my wife here today uh, in the memory of Grandpa John, some of his fine 25-year-old Jefferson presidential rye bourbon. Good stuff. 25. This this bourbon is older than a lot of my viewers. <laughs> all right. Well, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. All the things. Whatever. Happy holidays. Let's cover all the bases. All right. Now let's cover all the faces. Oh, it's terrible. Okay. Let's see what's in the medicine cabinet that I leave here at my mom's house so I don't have to bring a bunch of shaving stuff. All right. So, <laughs> got a headache? Got some Advil. That's not mine. This stuff isn't mine. I don't know where that is. But there's my very first synthetic brush that I ever received. And it's kind of a cheapy version, but it works well. It's the satin tip. And I got some, oops, <laughs> space soap. This fell down in the lamp here. Put that back. And then I've got some Duke Cannon aftershave, which I don't like as much as the Cremo. And for some reason, I have two cans of Barbasol Soothing Aloe, which I don't have at my house. They're a proud partner of the MLB. And then I've got the Everyman Jack uh, Signature Mint, which I used to use a lot, but haven't in a long time. And actually, I think the mint scent has kind of faded. And then the unscented post-shave. And then the razor that I keep here, these decorative little pots, is this 1970 Gillette. And it's not a black beauty, but it's black. It's like their cheaper model back then. It's a butterfly, and that's the one I'm gonna use today. And I leave some uh, feather blades, and I have some Bic blades. But uh, yeah, so that's what I keep here, so I don't have to bring a bunch of stuff. All right, let's shave. I'm gonna use this old can of Barbasol. Where's the camera? There it is. This old can of Barbasol, which I don't know when it's from, but it was uh, a sponsor of Major League Baseball. It's just sitting here, soothing aloe, shake it up. I'm gonna use that 1970 uh, twist to open, check it out. Got some dramatic lighting here. Twist to open, I'm gonna use a Bic Chrome Platinum Blade this time. Let's place that sucker right on there. Now, the reason I leave this vintage razor here is because it's not one of my favorites, but it works fine. It's very lightweight and uh, it does the job. There it is, 1970. I'm not sure which kind it is, so all of you razor nerds that know better than I do, please leave a comment and let me know which model this is. I brought my Rockwell too, but I want to shave with what I left here, you know. Okay, put some hot water on my face. Make sure I don't, I'm gonna move the bourbon so I don't splash too much. All right, there we go. And then this can has been sitting here for a while. Let's make sure it still works. Oh yeah, I tell you, these vintage cans of Barbasol, they work well. The, can, the mirror's over here, so if you see me from a different angle, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking in the big mirror here. It's hard to shave, you know, looking at myself in the camera. And I don't have a cool suction cup set up like Ken Surf's. Good to hear that Ken Surf's wife and daughter are doing well after they uh, 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 got COVID a couple of weeks ago and he and his son are also doing well. Ken and his son didn't get it. So that's good. I'm glad to hear that everybody there is safe and sound and I hope they're having a good Christmas. As we are here, if you hear screaming in the background from downstairs, it's the kids shooting each other with their new Nerf guns, which is a terrible idea. Don't buy your kids especially boys, <laughs> Nerf guns, because it always turns into a screaming match. All right, here we go. It's been a while since I used this razor. So I'm gonna have to refamiliarize myself with how it feels. I think it's a very light razor, so I'm not, it feels too light to me. I like a heavier razor. And I think I don't like this big blade. Maybe it's a little too old, maybe it's dulling because it's dragging just a bit. And I shaved yesterday, so it's not like I have multiple days growth or anything, but I'm gonna stick with it. Let's all stick with it. I hope uh, if you're able to safely spend time with your families, I hope you are. And I hope that everyone 
got exactly what they wanted from Santa this morning. And I uh, hope you don't shoot your eye out. Yes, I do have 24 hours of a Christmas carol turned on on the TV downstairs. I mean, sorry, Christmas story, <laughs> not Christmas carol. I couldn't take Scrooge for 24 hours, but I can take Ralphie in his Red Rider range model carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle with a compass in the stock and this thing that tells time. I love that movie so much, Christmas Story. If you haven't seen it yet, it is a classic. I hear screaming from downstairs. Did you hear that? Ay, ay, ay. What would Christmas be if there wasn't a bunch of drama and <laughs> tears and uh, drowning your sorrows in whiskey? <laughs> Don't drown your sorrows in whiskey if you can help it, because as Homer Simpson said, alcohol is the, what is it, what did he say? Let me, let me do my hair and I'll remember, I mean, do my face. It's the, oh yeah, alcohol is the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. All right, pass number two. I'm gonna see if I can do it in the, just looking in the, I look like Vincent Price. Hello children, we're going to be telling you a scary Christmas story. You know that song? Well, there'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the... The scary ghost story part. I guess that's the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. Who visited Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. Yeah, I guess that's it. I got a small sink here at, at uh, my mom's house. Mama Sinatra's house. So I don't have to use my little emesis base. And I can actually shave like a human being. Which is nice. We had, uh, for dinner last night, we had Christmas hors d'oeuvres. Like, um, we didn't have like a big sit down. I think we're going to do that tonight. Uh, it's just my mom, my wife, and my kids and I. And, uh, or, and me, grammatically correct. Is that right? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we had like a brie wrapped in, uh, 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 you know, fancy, fancy brie. Wrapped in uh, brie en croute, as they say. Wrapped in, you know, a dough, like a like a, a flaky, buttery dough. Oh, so good. Oh, I am definitely hearing some screams now. Whoa. Come the end of the day. That's when the end. Maybe the, oh, maybe they're having fun. Oh, gosh. Whenever I hear screaming from the other room, these shaving videos tend to go on a little bit longer. But anyway, we had a nice appetizer dinner last night. My dad is the king of eating appetizers for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, he'll have so many appetizers, he'll be stuffed before the turkey even hits the table. But, you know, <laughs> that's America for you. America. America, my God. Yeah, this isn't the greatest razor in the world, but like I said, I leave it here because it'll do, and I like having a vintage razor here. I've I've thought about maybe like leaving the uh, the fat guy, the you know the the replica down here, but I might go back and visit that a few times and and see. All right, let's do one more pass till the screaming subsides and the drinking begins. I'm gonna try this again. No, I keep talking about drinking, but. I'm only having a little bit of a sit for this video. I know it's already late on Christmas Day in other parts of the world. I don't even know what time it is. I don't have my watch on. That's okay. You don't need to keep time on Christmas, do you? All right, third pass, as I always do, generally. And then we'll wrap it up. Uh, we brought our dog, Cinnamon, who you may know from earlier videos. And my mom just recently got a little kitten, cutest little cat you ever saw. And they're trying to figure each other out. <laughs> the kitten is a little bit scared and defensive because this is her house. And the dog is being very respectful. She's a good dog. We got her uh, January 1st of this year. So we're coming on a year with little Cinnamon. So I hope that they'll make fast friends and they'll make a little Christmas buddy movie soon. 
but go on some grand adventure together across country, you know, find their way home safely. Much to the delight of viewers everywhere. That's what I hope. That's my Christmas wish. I think I've shaved in this bathroom before. I think I made videos here before. But it's been a long time. So search back and look for the background that you might see. Shower curtain. Shower curtain might be different. I don't know. I don't keep track of these things. I don't keep track of shower curtains. Shower curtain rings now. I bought some of those from Del Griffith. Oh, they've held up that shower curtain for years. Fantastic. If you ever need shower curtains, Del Griffith is the man to see. All right. Coming to the end here, folks. Got to get back downstairs and save my wife and mother. Although it sounds like it's quieted down, so that's good. We're going to go out and take a walk or something. It's a beautiful day here. Gorgeous, sunny day. It's going to be like 64 for a high. Beautiful. No snow, of course, down here in the Houston area. All right. Rinse off with cold water. And then... Let it drain. Now, if you do use your sink, if you go to you know friend's house, parent's house, clean up after yourself at the sink. Don't leave water all over the counter. If you shave, don't leave little hairs all in the, just clean up after yourself, just a general rule. I don't have to tell this to you, you know, but I like to. I don't have to, but I like to. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't leave it alone. Uh-oh, let's see, where is the, uh, oh, the Duke Cannon is behind. Hold on, let me do this. Do, 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 do. There we go. It was behind. It was holding it up. So the Duke Cannon aftershave, I'm not a big fan of it. It's fine, but it is nowhere near as good as the Cremo, which I love, and I still haven't had in a while. So let's see if the mint, because this is a couple years old now. Let's see if, yep, still minty, but it's got a little bit of a, uh, like a, almost like a, well, I was going to say a men's deodorant smell, but maybe not, maybe not. It is tingly. It does feel good. It's good stuff, but it's not my favorite. All right. Ah, did I get any nicks? No, I didn't. It's a pretty mild razor, this little thing. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably go back to the Rockwell tomorrow, but I wanted you to see it. It lives down here in uh, the Houston area. So anyway, there we go, everybody. Um, have a great weekend. Have a very Merry Christmas. And I'll see you on Monday, and we'll lead up to uh, a New Year's Eve. Uh, New Year's rockin' shavin' Eve. <laughs> and head into 2021, shall we? Let's go. You want to? All right, I'm going to go this way. Going down. Beep.